Hello, today I show you how to use low poly art for the shop action and here is some of the results that you can make with this section. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 3000 and 6000 pixels on one axis for best effect. So if you have photo with too small or too big resolution, just open your photo, then go to the image, image size, and change width or height value to 3000 pixels and more. Okay, and before your section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and high versions, click on menu icon at the right. Select Panel Options and check the Add Copy to Copy Lines and Groups. OK, that's all. Now, how to use Action. First, open your photo and one more important thing. Your photo needs to have the background view. So, if your photo has this view, you just need to select the photo then go to the layer, New and select Background from Layer. Now it's OK. The next step, open brushes file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, and press it tab, select brushes, click load, go to the load folder and make double click on low poly art brushes file. Ok, click done. Next step, open patterns file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, now in person tab, select Patterns, click Load, go to the Load folder again and make double click on Low Poly Art Patterns file. OK, click Done. And the next step, open Action file. For that, go to the Window, Actions, click on menu icon at the right, select Load Actions, go to the Load folder last time and make double click on low poly art photoshop action file. Ok, the next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use a brush tool or you can use some of lesser tools and of course you can use quick selection tool and magic vent tool. For this image, I'm gonna use Quick Selection tool. You can use any colors. Okay. When you paint the area, find action on the action list, open it. And click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100%. Okay, click play. Now, message from Photoshop. Now you need to paint the area where you want to see more detail, low poly effect. Eyes, brows, nose, mouth, ears, facial space contours. When you will finish paint the area, please press play button on the action panel. To continue, click stop. 
Okay, click stop. Now you need to paint the area where you want to see more detail, uh, low poly effect. In this photo, I paint eyes. Brows. Nose. Mouse. And facial shape counters. Okay. Now click play. Wait a few minutes, let Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action will depends on the power of your computer. And I am a little scroll at this step. Ok, when action finishes it work, you can change the final composition and now I show how to make this. In the final composition uh, we have 5 folders. It's background elements folder, your object elements basic color layer, 10 color effects and color settings of all image. Ok, let's start from ground elements. This folder contains uh, ground layers, ground polygons and color settings of ground folder. In ground layers folder uh, you can change the brightness and contrast of your background. Also, you can hide black and white back uh, layer and show color back. And of course, you can add color tone to background. And if you want, you can change the background color. Okay, the next folder is background polygons. This folder contains big polygons, uh, ROMs and small polygons. In big polygons uh, folder you can find big polygons layers. If you need you can move and scale these layers. You can change the color of lines. And you can change the three colors of back polygons. Also, this folder contains color light layer. You can change the opacity of this layer. In the ROMs uh, folder, you can find the layers with ROMs. 
if you want to erase some space of this ROMs effect, just select the layer mask, white layer mask, select brush tool and select black color and just paint where you want to erase the ROMs effect. And if you want to make visible, just select white color and paint again. Okay, you can change the brightness and contrast of ROMs. And you can change the color of ROMs. And also this folder contains a small polygons folder. This folder contains a small polygons uh, layers. And you can change the brightness and contrast of uh, this layers. It's very easy. And you can add the color tone to these small polygons. Okay, and also this folder contains color settings uh, of background. In this folder you can add color tone to all background layers. You can change the hue and saturation of background. You can add gradient to background. If you want to change the color of gradient, just click on gradient, click uh, on color and change the color. Okay. And also you can change the brightness and contrast of background. Okay, the next folder is your object elements. This folder contains uh, object polygons folder with big polygons, middle polygons and small polygons. All these folders uh, contains the layers with polygons. You can hide or make visible these layers. Also, if you want to erase uh, some of space of these uh, polygons, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, black color, and paint where you want to erase. If you want to make visible, select white color and paint again. Uh, also, in this uh, object, polygons folder, you can change the color of lines, big, middle and small lines. Okay, let's change the color of big lines. You can change the opacity of this layer.
if you want you can uh, show a color of small lines layer 2 And in this uh, your object elements folder, you can change the three colors of big polygons. Okay, and the next folder it's basic color layers. This folder contains a contrast layer, soft light layer, normal color layer, add contrast layer, and vintage uh, texture. The next folder it's 10 color effects. And the last folder it's color settings of all image. In this folder you can add color tone to all image. You can add photo filter to all image. If you want to change the photo filter just make double click and select the photo filter what you need. Also you can change uh, the density of this effect. You can add the gradient to all image. Also you can change the hue and saturation of all image. You can make black and white composition. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So it's ready. Here is the result. Now you need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.